Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. It's Friday, and that means it's time to fire up another free-to-play game here on Big Dave is Cheap. This week, we're celebrating the Steam release of Tribes Ascend. Now, there's probably somebody out there saying, Well, Tribes Ascend, you play this game all the time. And you are correct, Grandpa. Uh, I do have more than one video on the channel featuring Tribes Ascend, but I've never really given it the full-on free-to-play Friday treatment. So I thought I would correct that today. This is my juggernaut. We are playing on the map Arx Novena. This is Capture the Flag. It's the only true mode in Tribes Ascend, as far as I'm concerned. Doing a little generator defense, picking up a nice kill right there with my Merv launcher. Man, those grenades go everywhere, don't they? Unfortunately, I barely get a second to recover before I'm doing the dance with this guy. But he brings a friend to the party in the form of Shakeable, the stealthy infiltrator who comes in and guns me down with his silenced pistol. Now that sounds great, right? I could probably talk the rest of the video just like that, and most of my audience would get it because so many of you have played Tribes of Sin. But that's not what Free to Play Friday is about. Free to Play Friday is about introducing you to a free to play game, regardless of whether I think my audience has played it or not. I did say that I wanted to give Tribes of Sin the Free to Play Friday treatment, so let's do that and start with the basics. What is Tribes of Sin? Well, it is a free-to-play multiplayer online FPS. It has the familiar class-based system that many of you will know from other games like Team Fortress 2. This game does have a growing competitive scene with casts and tournaments popping up all over the place. And it really is a game on the rise, if you will. And to that end, this is actually a really good time to get into Tribes. The reason is, well, it's on Steam and that makes it easier to play, but in addition to that, the game has recently been patched to solve one of its largest problems. And while this patch didn't completely solve the issue, it certainly made it a bit better. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the slow and painful grind to unlock weapons, perks, and abilities within the game's systems. What they did was streamline it. A little revenge on Shakeable right there. You can try to stealth all day, but you're not going to dodge my splash damage with your stealth. So what they did to expedite the process of unlocking weapons is they took all of the secondary things that you used to have to spend your valuable XP on. XP is the in-game currency that you use as a free-to-play player to unlock items and abilities. And they rolled this into a usage-based system. So for instance, oh wait, 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 there it is. Sometimes when you've got a Merv launcher, you just shoot a grenade down a hall. Why? You don't know why. There's nobody there, but you just do it because you know somebody might run into your plume of death. Oh, I love it. So what they did in order to expedite the process of unlocking extra things in the game, specifically extra weapons, is they took the different things that you were spending your XP on, like for instance, upgrading your individual weapons or your individual perks, and they made those progression based. So now I get better with my gun by using my gun. Before, I got better with my gun by paying XP to master my gun. You can still do that. You can still pay a large chunk of XP to completely master a weapon. But if you don't want to do that, you can simply play with the weapon and slowly unlock perks like a few extra pieces of ammo in your clip and maybe a faster reload time, things like that. So what they effectively did was they didn't lower the cost of weapons, but they effectively lowered the cost of weapons because you don't have to spend anything else uh, you don't have to buy anything else with XP, so you have more of it lying around, so it becomes more plentiful, and the weapons don't seem as expensive, even though they still cost the same as they ever did. So that means, as a free-to-play player, it's a really good time to get into the game, because you're going to unlock things at a much quicker rate. They also just added over 20 new weapon variants. These are basically 
combination weapons and tweaked versions of weapons. For instance, I'm currently using the Merv launcher. It launches a mortar shell that then breaks up into smaller mortar shells. They have a version of this weapon that breaks up into smaller mortar shells, but it doesn't fan out quite as much. So it makes it a more effective weapon in certain situations. It's going to be up to you now to sort of specialize and customize your weapon loadout with these different interesting weapon variants. And that really makes it a, a nice time to come into the game. You can get used to these new things uh, before you ever get other things ingrained into your mind. Another great thing is if you do want to spend a little money on the game, well, it's a great time to do that too, because Steam is currently offering a new player $10 bundle that will unlock two classes, the Infiltrator and the Technician. The Infiltrator is the stealthy bastard who killed me in the opening of this video, and the Technician, just call him the Engineer. He is a dude that builds a turret and repairs things. So, uh, yeah. But this pack also includes unlocks for some weapons on the basic classes, Pathfinder, Soldier, and Juggernaut, as well as 800 tribes gold. 800 tribes gold normally costs you $10. So you're basically getting all the rest of this stuff for free. So if you have any interest at all in buying a little bit of tribes gold, this is an amazing time to do it because you can grab that 800 as well as a lot of additional stuff. Oh, my streak was shut down there. But just to refocus here and, and kind of recap, Tribes Ascend is a solid free-to-play shooter that is constantly updated with new patches, that has a burgeoning competitive scene, which does feature tournaments as well as live casting of events. It has a growing streaming community on Twitch.tv. It is a game that has stagnated to a certain degree over the last month or two, but otherwise has been on a constant upward trajectory, and this Steam launch is only going to help the game's community to continue to grow. You can definitely see from the footage and other footage you can find around the internet if you think this game's for you. I know a lot of my viewers have already played this game. I definitely think Tribes Ascend is worth your time. It is a triple-A quality game and it will bring you hours upon hours of enjoyment. So that's enough of the hard sell on Tribes Ascend. Enjoy the rest of this Capture the Flag match. After that, we will queue up some footage of Capture and Hold, which is a control point style game mode, and it gets very, very hectic. It is a whole lot of fun, but there ain't much strategy in it, just a lot of killing. So now let's turn our gaze to the rest of the gaming world. What's going on out there? Well, Nexon is invading Steam. They have their second game on Steam in as many weeks. First Vindictus, and now Dungeon Fighter Online. Interesting time to be a free-to-player, huh? Very interesting time. So, Nexon has a lot of other games that they could potentially try to bring to Steam. I don't know how many of them would actually be a good fit for Steam, but it's very interesting now that they have a relationship with Valve to see exactly how it all shakes out. So I am going to keep my peepers open and watch for some of the other Nexon titles to potentially come to Steam in the next few weeks. Dungeons & Dragons Online has also come to Steam. That completes the Turbine catalog, first Lord of the Rings a few weeks ago, and now Dungeons & Dragons Online. I've been playing Dungeons & Dragons Online, and I have to say it's quite interesting. Slightly more action-oriented than your average RPG, and it really sells the feeling of sitting down and playing a game of Dungeons & Dragons. You know, when you come into a new area, and there's a voiceover that says something like, the smell of sea air fills your nostrils. You see a rogue in the distance and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just great. You know, little things like that that just remind me of the few times in my life where I've sat down at a table with people and played a pen and paper RPG. Really hitting that, uh, really knocking it out of the park when it comes to bringing that little touch to the game. They also have cool things in there like traps and stuff that you just don't see in other modern MMOs. So they really went out of their way to recreate a Dungeons and Dragons gaming session experience and I'm interested to keep playing it and see where the heck it goes. So there's also a rumor going around, or I guess it's not a rumor, it's probably news, that uh, Blacklight Retribution will be coming to Steam pretty soon. I believe they're testing their Steam client right now in beta. So that should be interesting. Another high-quality game coming 
to Steam. Of course, we looked at Blacklight Retribution a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, excuse me, a couple months ago on the channel here. Uh, the ultimate verdict on that game uh, with me, if you want an update, I haven't been playing it uh, very much since it actually came out in full release. I kind of put my eggs into the tribes basket as opposed to Blacklight, uh, but I really enjoyed the game when I actually did play it. So, uh, Blacklight Retribution, if it came to Steam, I would definitely give it another chance. It is a high-quality title from Zombie. I mean, it is a really well-done FPS. If you like that style of modern military FPS, like Call of Duty, then you really will like it. And I'm not, I, I don't think Call of Duty is a bad game per se. And, and certainly Blacklight Retribution is not a bad game per se, but it is that modern military style of shooter. You got your guns, you get your upgrades, put your sight on, put your grip on, all that kind of stuff. And, and that is certainly uh, something that has a place in the market. And I would love to see uh, nothing but great success for the guys over at Zombie with Blacklight Retribution, so I can't wait to see that game on Steam. Now, I could probably find some other stuff to talk about, but I really don't want to talk about that. I just want to go ahead and get to our second chance Indie Gala giveaway. So let's go ahead and bring up our list of entrants. Let's spin the wheel and let's do the drawing right here in the video right now. So here we are on random.org. We're going to use their list randomizer in order to claim a winner. I've got everybody who commented on the video except for the one person who said don't enter me to win. There's the list right there as I scroll up and down on it. We're going to hit randomize here in just one moment. And when we do that, numbers one, two, three, and four on that list will be our winners of the four Indie Gala number fives. So without any further ado, here we go. And there you have it. One, two, three, and four are your winners. I will be sending out your links to your Indie Gala number fives through your YouTube account. So if for any reason you're watching this video and you know that there's something wrong with your YouTube and you can't receive messages like I've had someone have in the past, uh, then send me some sort of alternate means of communication. You can email me at bigdaveischeap at gmail.com and give me your alternate contact information. But I need to send you the link to the gift for the Indie Gala, so I need some way to actually get that to you. So there are the winners right there for you one more time. So congratulations to all those who won a bundle and my condolences to the runners up. Thanks for the great response to this contest, guys. It has definitely been one of the biggest that I have had to date. I really appreciate it, and I hope as we go forward that things on the channel are only going to get better. I really appreciate it when you guys give me thumbs up on the videos or just give me a verbal thumbs up by saying that you liked what I did. I appreciate every single view that I get. Don't worry about me. I don't get down in the dumps because my videos only get 50 or 60 views. I really enjoy what I'm doing, and I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't. I have no designs on becoming a YouTube guy. I don't want to make my, my living off of this. I just want to do this right now because I can and because I do enjoy it so very much. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been another episode of Free to Play Fridays. I'm liking the way the series is going so far. I do enjoy the opportunity to bring you guys a look at free to play games that maybe you haven't quite seen. Uh, maybe you haven't seen them around the internet. Of course, stuff like Tribes is not one of those games, uh, but hopefully in the next few weeks, we will be bringing some more obscure free to play titles to you. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and as always, Take it easy.